Happy Sunday, Buawiya Desmond here. Thank you for tuning in. So I titled my message today, The Power of Associations. So this message was inspired by a message that I heard by a pastor named um, Josh Finley, who speaks for the Power Empowered Living Community. He does a message every Sunday, and um, this message touched me so much that I wanted to do it. So I think it's gonna be a two-part series because it's kind of a long one. So today I really just wanted to speak about the power of associations and how important it is to um, understand who you have in your circle, who you have in your life. And also just to think about how sometimes we've had people who come who have come into our lives for a reason, some for a season and some for a lifetime. You know, have you ever noticed that some people you've met so briefly and it was like, oh, that was interesting. And then other people, um, you actually could tell the reason that you were meeting them was because of something maybe that you had been praying about or something that you you know um, you you needed a, an answer to and this person provided an answer and you knew right away that was the reason for your meeting and then you've got those friends that are there for a lifetime they just have always been there they always will be and they are made for you to know and have with you all the time so very interesting but I just wanted to um, speak about that because one association can can change your life and it can change your life for either for the better or it can change your life for completely the opposite one can one can put you in the will of God and one can help you um, and help you um, to get to where your destiny is and the other one can completely um, deter you from where you're supposed to be and lead you down the wrong path one such example is actually a, um, a, a young man named Cody that we've known since he was a young kid I remember Cody being a really tall kid and we used to go and play, watch him play basketball because he was just that good. He played basketball, he loved the game. And at the age of 14, he met somebody, he had one association with, with um, the wrong person and they led him down the wrong path. This person introduced him to drugs and he has been on a roller coaster in and out of jail ever since then. So Cody's now in his 20s, but just meeting that one association led him down the wrong path but it can also do the opposite for you if you meet that one person that can actually change your life it, they can up level your life they can mentor you they can lead you into places that you never would have gone had you not met this person now josh finley talks about three different kinds of people he said you cannot you cannot treat all people the same you cannot have the same kind of associations with all people because this he describes these three different people he talks about the wise person this is a person who they like to listen right you know they will listen to you you know they will offer good wisdom um, and good counsel right so you can you can actually speak to them you can actually um, pour your heart out to them because they know and understand that um, they they can give you some wise counsel and then you've got the foolish person this person is is they're not gonna listen okay so what you need to understand here is to have a discernment when you know that they're not listening you're strategy then would be to quit talking because they're really not listening to you it's going in and it's going out so those people you want to make sure that you have some you create some sort of boundaries that will allow you to know that there's a restriction that needs to happen because they're really not going to help you much and then you've got the evil kind of person these are the people who really some people just are not nice okay and you really should not associate with these people because neither are they going to then they are not going to listen to you they're not going to talk to you they just are people who are out to harm to do harm versus good and so you cannot associate the same way you can't speak to all people the same way you have to understand and discern what kind of person you you have in front of you and what kind of person company you're keeping always evaluate the people in your life who do you have in your life? Because the smaller the circle, the bigger the influence they can have on you, right? When you think about it, Jesus had so many associations with so many different people. There was a time when he had, you know, the thousands. There was a time when he had um, 120 in the upper room. And then there was a time when he had, um, you know, he chose the 12 disciples. And then he had three that he really, Peter, James, and John, that he is, you know, he had close. And then he also had one, John, whom he dearly loved, right? So the smaller the circle, the bigger the influence. Know that it matters who you're associating with. And I've often heard it said that you become like the five closest friends that you hang out with. So who are you hanging out with? Can you notice anything different in the way that you act and the way that you are becoming based on the people and the company that you keep? You know, do you surround yourself with people who are wise? 
you know, be careful the associations that you make. And even just when you meet people asking the Lord, you know, being okay to ask the Lord, you know, Lord, why am I meeting this person? You know, is there a reason that this person needs to be in my life? Just being able to evaluate that and allowing the Holy Spirit to give you that wisdom because the, the, the Bible says if we lack wisdom to ask for it, right? So asking, always being in connection and contact with the Holy Spirit. Lord, why am I meeting this person? You know, is this person here for, for a, such a time as this? Or is it is it a person I'm meant to meet? Am I supposed to pour into this person? Or what is the reason that I'm meeting this person? So I hope that helps tomorrow. I'll, I'll be continuing this message. Um, so I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is Monday, the beginning of another work week. So get ready to write down your activities that you of the things that you plan to do to give you some success and some wins um, this week. So thank you for tuning in. And I will... Talk to you tomorrow.